guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be answering your questions about how to choose a sunscreen for around your eyes. You know at this point that wearing sunscreen around your eyes is really, really important. However, many sunscreens burn and sting around the eyes. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for choosing a sunscreen that will be easy to tolerate around your eyes. Today's video is uh, in partnership with Color Science, a natural collaboration given that I personally wear their three-in-one um, eye sunscreen every single day, as you guys know at this point in watching my skincare routines and daily videos. So that's what I use around my eyes to protect the skin around my eyes. And I'll share with you that product towards the end of this video. But why do we need sunscreen around the eyelids? Well, it's funny, the skin around our eyes is actually like less than 1% of our total body surface area, yet eye, skin cancers around the eyes are 10% of all skin cancers. Skin cancers around the eyes are incredibly common. One reason for this is that the bones around our eyes kind of protrude out from the rest of our face a little bit, and actually the skin around our eyes receives a lot more ultraviolet radiation from the sun than some of the other parts of our face. So it's really important to protect that skin from those damaging rays. Those rays will penetrate very deeply into the skin, destroy collagen, and that's what causes those crow's feet and wrinkles. In addition to crow's feet and wrinkles, uh, ultraviolet radiation that hits the skin around the eyelids also can lead to uh, pigmentary changes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, modeling, uh, sunspots. You get it from the sun, uh, not only the sun that you're exposed to when you walk outdoors, but also sun that comes in through the window uh, will, will contribute to, to damage around the eyes. And you also have to think about the fact that sun, that ultraviolet radiation from the sun, uh, reflects off of surfaces, like a white sidewalk, for example, as well as automobiles that you may be walking past. So, you know, you kind of got to make sure that you're getting all directions uh, covered. And wearing sunscreen is a really good piece of that protection. Now, ultraviolet radiation is one part that damages the skin around our eyes, but there's another part that can cause problems, particularly if you have a darker skin type, and that is certain wavelengths of visible light, namely in the blue light spectrum. These wavelengths of visible light can contribute to hyperpigmentation in darker skin types. So they are what are known as pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. And certain sunscreens actually can protect against those wavelengths. So I'll get into that in a moment when I talk about the sunscreens that you should choose. However, sunscreen is only one small piece of the total sun protection game. You need to be wearing a broad brimmed hat that will also protect your eyes and wearing sunglasses. I have a video all about what to look for in sunglasses to protect your eyes, so I'll link that down below for you guys. But those are two really important parts of sun protection. If you're ever uh, outdoors or even in, indoors by a window and you find yourself squinting, that is that is a, a flag that you need to wear some sunglasses, put on a hat, and protect your, your eyes from the sun. So those two pieces are really important. And then also how much time you spend outdoors is really important. You shouldn't be staying outdoors for more than two hours. And if you are, then you really need to, to amp up the sun protection. Uh, and you don't wanna be staying outdoors for a prolonged period of time during peak sun exposure hours in kind of the midday. Uh, so that's really important too. Sometimes people end up staying outside too long uh, when they are wearing sunscreen and then they don't reapply it and they end up getting more UV exposure than, than they should because uh, they kind of are under the impression that they're safe. So don't stay out too, too long. Um, but you know, everybody wants to enjoy being outdoors and so you can do that obviously so long as you make sure to protect your skin while you're doing that. Another reason though that eyelids are so susceptible to damage from ultraviolet radiation is that the skin there is very thin. So a dose of UV uh, really can, can hit deep quite easily, so to speak, and cause a lot of damage and you know, set, set you up for those crow's feet and visible signs of aging around the eyes and of course skin cancers. So what to look for in a sunscreen so that it's not going to be a miserable experience for you. Personally, I find that a lot of sunscreens do burn, particularly chemical sunscreens. My number one tip for sunscreens around the eyes is that you should use a mineral sunscreen. And by mineral sunscreen, I mean the only ingredients are going to be zinc oxide 
or zinc plus titanium dioxide. Those are your best starting point uh, for a no sting or low sting or low irritation sunscreens, sunscreen for the eyes. That being said, you actually can use safely any sunscreen around your eyes. Yes, any sunscreen can be used around the eyes. Albeit you don't wanna get it into your eyes, that is not good, but they all can be used safely around the eyes. However, because the skin of the eyelids is so thin, it, you are more susceptible to feeling sensations of irritation and stinging. And I find that that is the case more often than not with chemical sunscreens that have oxybenzone or avobenzone. Um, but I don't have any issue, of course, with plain mineral sunscreens. There's another type of sunscreen though that you can try around your eyes. It may sting for some, doesn't cause problems for me. And that is a combination sunscreen that will have zinc, plus a chemical filter or two, like octinoxate or octocrylon. I find personally that these UVB, fil these filters, along with zinc, are not irritating or stinging, but that's gonna be, gonna be more individualized. And you always wanna choose an SPF of 30 or greater. Um, that's, that's best. And you actually, you know, I always show you guys putting on a lot of sunscreen on my face, like how much you need to put on to get to, to get to the SPF on the label. It's actually quite a lot, it always surprises people. But remember, the skin around your eyes, you actually don't have that much skin around your eyes. It's less than 1% of your total body surface area. So I think sometimes consumers get into trouble and patients find, find themselves in a, in a sticky situation because they just put too much and it drips into your eyes and that's uncomfortable. So you only need um, a few tiny little dots to really get a good layer at a density of two milligrams per centimeter square around your eyes. You actually don't need that much on your eyes. So personally, I just put a tiny little fraction dots on the upper lid and lower lid and make sure you get in what's called the inner canthus this area here this is an area that's quite is quite common for skin cancers to develop and then of course out lat laterally in those areas around the crow's feet and whatnot but you you actually don't need a huge glob and so start small let's start start with a very small amount in the beginning put it on and dab it on to those areas and start up high, you know, up on the brow bone where you apply the sunscreen and then just kind of blend it out and get a good layer, let it dry and try putting on another layer. So that's a technique for putting on sunscreen around the eyes that avoids using too much that then drips into your eyes and makes you uncomfortable. In addition to choosing a sunscreen that is mineral only as a safe bet for for not stinging and causing burning. My other tip is to choose a tinted mineral sunscreen if you can. The reason for this is that sunscreens that are tinted, they have, uh, as part of that, they have an ingredient called iron oxides, which along with zinc can actually protect even further against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. So there are a lot of uh, tinted um, sunscreens for the eyes um, or you know makeup for around the eyes, under eye concealers, um, like the color science product I use, which I'll talk about in a moment, that not only, they serve sort of a double duty, not only do they protect your skin from ultraviolet radiation that's gonna cause wrinkles and crow's feet and gonna cause skin cancers, but they also protect from those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light that are gonna cause hyperpigmentation, and they also are like a makeup. They brighten up the under eye area, they're your under eye concealer, so if you have dark circles under your eyes, they camouflage that, so it's a double duty product. But for those of you who wear makeup, I advocate this approach in general to be to select makeup that actually has mineral sunscreen in it. That way you're kind of doing double duty with, with getting sun protection and, and your cosmetic outcome of you know wearing foundation and what have you. So I'll just get into a few products that I personally love using around my eyes and I find work well and then I'm gonna to recommend to you guys to try out. All right, so I mentioned that um, I personally don't have any issue using these combination sunscreens around my eyes. And by combination, I mean a zinc, uh, zinc oxide is in the sunscreen and then a few chemical filters. 
not avabenzone, not oct oxybenzone. So personally, you all know I use um, and love the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is a sunscreen that I use every day and I have no issue putting this around my eyes. It doesn't burn or sting. So this works really well for me and I imagine it will work well for many of you. But for those of you with really, really, really sensitive skin, uh, this might not work just because of the octinoxate or because it also has niacinamide, which I find that some people uh, complain it causes burning and stinging as well. So this is one that I, I'm, I'm pointing out because I put it around my eyes every day and you may be wondering like, can we use that around the eyes? Yes, it works well. And again, any sunscreen for your face, you can actually put around your eyes. So that's a good one that, that works really well. But um, another one that I love, you guys, I uh, strongly recommend, it's very affordable, is Copper Tone Pure and Simple SPF 50. This is just zinc oxide. It's actually very hydrating um, around the skin of the eyes because it has, um, it has kelp extracts in it. So I've got a video talking about marine extracts in skincare, and you'll recall from that video that things like kelp, and um, algae hold on to a lot of water and help hydrate the skin. Not only that, this particular sunscreen is water resistant, which is wonderful because I find that using a water resistant product tends to run less um, into the eye. So it stays in place better and doesn't crease as much. So I really like this. It doesn't pill or ball or anything like that. Another option that I would strongly encourage you to, to give a whirl because it's so affordable and fantastic is the Walgreens brand SPF 50 Baby uh, Mineral Sunscreen. This is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And this too is water resistant, really easy to apply around the eyes. Um, and I've shown myself putting this on around my eyes in my video on crow's feet. So I'll link that down below along with my video on sunglasses for you guys if you want more eye, eye info. I also really adore the clear SPF 40 sunscreen. This is a cruelty free sunscreen. It's zinc oxide only that actually doesn't leave any white cast. You know, that's an issue with a lot of mineral sunscreens. They, they leave that white cast. And this does not, I found, it's really nice. You know, the thing with the cast though, I find that if you're using a mineral sunscreen around your eyes, sometimes you can work that white cast to your advantage as almost a highlighter, um, like particularly around the brow bones. If you layer on an eyeshadow on top, I find, I mean, I don't do that, but I do think that it gives kind of a nice highlighting effect while simultaneously protecting the skin around your eyes. So if you hate mineral sunscreens because of the cast, don't dismiss them around your eyes. They're a lot easier to tolerate and they might actually offer you some cosmetic bang for your buck in terms of, of a highlighter effect. Another one that I love that is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide is the La Roche-Posay SPF 50 on Thelos Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. This is fantastic and I recommend it. So those are some that you can easily get either in the drugstore or online. Another tip though in navigating sunscreens is uh, to choose one that's marketed for babies. Those tend to be less irritating in general because baby skin is a little bit, is more sensitive. And so they're a really good choice for around the eyes. I know mineral only sunscreens are not as widely available um, outside of the US. A lot of you tell me that in your countries you mostly just have chemical sunscreens. So choose a sunscreen in that case that is marketed for babies. That will be a better choice for around your eyes in terms of not burning or stinging. Um, but yeah, the Walgreens baby one is a mineral only sunscreen and I find it works fantastic around the eyes. So personally, my favorite tinted eye product that I wear every day and I always get questions on is the Color Science 3-in-1 Total Eye Renewal. The reason I love this product is A, it is a mineral only sunscreen, so it's really great for around the eyes. B, it's tinted with iron oxides, so it gives additional protection against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. C, it stays in place really well. And D, it looks good, at least on me, you know? I mean, everyone has their own kind of preferences and their facial anatomy may be a little different. So you have to try it out and figure out if it's gonna work for you. The other thing I like about the three-in-one renewal therapy is that it has a variety of marine extracts like algae, which are wonderful humectants. So it really hydrates up the under eye area. 
and is basically a nice eye moisturizer as well as a, as eye protection. And then the other, the, lastly, another reason I love it so much is it just does a great job brightening up the under eyes. It's an amazing eye concealer. I have a prominent vein under my eyes and using this camouflages it in such a way that it just really brightens up my under eye area. I've worn this particular product so many times and sometimes I give myself a little test where I don't wear it. I film a video and I go back and look at the footage and I, I can always tell my eyes just don't look as bright as when I wear this. It just really has a nice way of enhancing the natural appearance of your eyes. But personally, I find that it stays in place really well and doesn't crease up or anything. Uh, so that's another thing that I like a lot about it. But some of you have commented that you're a little resistant to get this because the shade is not quite right for you. I love the shade for me because that kind of peachy color really nicely camouflages that, that prominent under eye vein that I have. However, guess what? As of today, I believe Color Science has now launched three new shades of the three in one renewal therapy. So they now have four shades in total. So to remind you, this is what the shade I have looks like. See, it's kind of a peachy color. But they also have a new fair color that is a little bit lighter. So for those of you with really fair skin, that's gonna be a better choice for you. And this one, I just got it. So I'm gonna show you guys, when you first get the products, uh, the first get the product, you kind of have to pump a little bit in order for it to come up, but once you do that, you can kind of feel a little bit of resistance as it's coming up. There we go. Oops, got a big glob. This is their tan shade, so that's going to be a little bit um, darker than the fair, but not as peachy. So that's going to be a good color if you have more olive tones. Um, than I do, that's gonna be a good color. And then last but not least, they have a deep tone. So in summary, Wearing sunscreen around your eyes is imperative. However, it's not enough. You still need to wear sunglasses and a broad brim hat and be careful to not stay outdoors too long. When choosing a sunscreen to use around your eyes, go ahead and pick a mineral sunscreen that has zinc and or titanium dioxide. And selecting a mineral only sunscreen that is marketed for babies is a, another good choice for reducing the chances that it will burn or sting around your eyes. Also, choosing a mineral sunscreen that is tinted with iron oxides will offer you some additional protection against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. Make sure the SPF is 30 or higher. And if you're a makeup wearer, select makeups and concealers that are SPF 30 or higher, mineral sunscreens with iron oxides. So you kind of get, you kind of get double duty there. Personally, I love the Color Science product. It's my favorite, and like I said, I will continue to use it so long as they make it, so please don't stop making it. I love that they now have the four shades in total, and I have a coupon code down below for you guys. You can get 15% off of the off of the three-in-one eye if you are interested in trying it, but it is a favorite of mine, and I continue to repurchase it time and time again. For me, personally, I find that it lasts close to six months. So I don't mind the price point and I find that it provides a lot of benefits for me and my skincare and daily routine. So I continue to repurchase it. But I hope these tips were helpful for you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.